Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a haul. <laughs> yeah, um, and it's a variety of things from different places. That's why I put like mega haul. So let's get started. Okay, so this a lot of this stuff is like from Black Friday and um, Cyber Monday, or should we say Black Friday week, Cyber Monday week, anyway. Um, so let me start with Colored Rain. I was needing some empty palettes to depot some eyeshadows and things into, and I have seen Tara Babies talk about this um, particular one, so I ordered them. I ordered two um, because I wanted to put all of my Surratt eyeshadows and blushes in one and all of my um, Viseart in the other one. And this is what they look like. They are huge, ginormous. I don't know what I was thinking by ordering two, but I ordered a pink one and then there's a purple one. This is the purple one there. I'm not going to take it out. But um, it is huge. It has a ginormous mirror, as you can see. It's a little dirty. But um, there's all of my Surratt eyeshadows and my blushes. I have a few more blushes I need to put in there. But look at all that room. I mean, I, I could probably put my... Well, I don't think I would be able to put all of my Viseart in there. But... There's a lot of room, and this is this is huge. <laughs> so anyway, I I ordered those, and those were um, they were on sale. And they were twenty seven dollars, so it wasn't too bad for that big and that good of a quality of a, um, a palette there. So then I ordered um, off of Sephora and uh, partake 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 partake. Took. Anyway, I took advantage of some of the Black Friday deals that they had going on and ordered some um, replenishment items, things that I know I'm going to be using up and that I use on a daily basis. One was, whoops, this one here, the Clarifying Lotion from Clinique. This is the number three. It has the pump on it. This was $15. This is normally around $30, $32. So this was an outstanding value for this. If this is something that you use, um, today when I looked at the website, it was still on there um, for $15 for, and it has the little pump on it. So use that. I use this twice a day. So I will definitely use that. And then the Purity, um, made simple from philosophy this is my makeup remover of choice i use this every night to take all the makeup off this again was 15 dollars, and it's in this really cute um, holiday packaging and it seems like one this size is usually around 28 dollars. so again that was really good savings and i will use it so it's not going to go to waste and then they had this kit here from Peter Thomas Roth that was, was it one? It was $15, I do believe. It's a $28 value. I think you can still pick it up on the website for $22, but it's the Hyaluronic Happy Hour. And it has the Water Dream Cloud Cream Cleanser and the Water Dream Hyaluronic Cloud, Cloud Cream Moisturizer. So the cleanser and then the moisturizer. So I wanted to just give this a little try and what good way to try something than a little travel pack or trial kit like that. I mean, it's not breaking the bank. And then um, from Kat Von D, they had the Lolito Lip Duo and it's two uh, mini size of the liquid lipsticks in Lolito. And Lolito 2, I do believe. I'm not going to swatch these because after I ordered them and I haven't had a chance to look, but I think I may already have these. Possibility. Possibility. And if I do, that's okay. I can always um, pop these in um, into a gift or something or a giveaway. But I did get those. That was on a Black Friday deal. Oh, let's 
see what else was a Black Friday deal. This, this from um, Pat McGrath was a Black Friday deal and it was some lipstick. And what lipstick is this? What does this say it is? The Pat McGrath Mini Matte Trance Lipstick in the color Elson. E-L-S-O-N. Elson. And of course, been wanting to try something from Pat McGrath. And um, the eyeshadows, I think, are just too expensive. But the lipstick was a pretty good deal. And I wanted, I basically wanted it for this cute little packaging. I mean, look at the little lips on there. Jeez, that's so cute. But of course, the color is right up my alley. So get to try the formula. And so. And of course, you know, we very rarely go through a tube of lipstick, so that will last quite some time. So, <clears throat> got that. And then, um, this guy from Tarte, I do believe, well, uh, to put in a code for this is what this was. Yeah, you put in a code and you got this for free. And it has in it a mascara, which I won't use, and a powder, which is like the white powder that you're supposed to use for setting under the eyes. I won't use that because it doesn't matter what kind of powder I use under the eyes. It makes my under eyes look horrible. And then there is a blush here. And I'll have to look and see if I have this blush. I'm not for sure if I do or not, and it's in the color Idol, I do believe. But you know, it was a freebie. Um, if these are things that I'm not gonna use, or if I already have, I'll just put them in as a gift or a giveaway. I mean, they're not gonna go to waste. But you know, if it's free and you're doing an order, you might as well get something, right? And then, um, all of the Surratt eyeshadows that I just showed you in that palette, I probably will do a separate video on just Surratt because there's so many of those. Um, I don't know what was going on that day, but they were doing Surratt across the board, 50% off on the Sephora website. Um, now everything has pretty much gone back up with the exception of a few things here and there, but just about everything sold out. But um, one of the things that was on there that was half off, I've been wanting to try this eyelash curler. And the eyelash curler by itself was sold out. So they had this kit that has the eyelash curler and the mascara. So I got that and that was like a wonderful deal for that. And I mean, the Surratt packaging is just so nice. I love the red. But it looks like it was a full-size mascara. And then the um, little eyelash curler that everybody talks about that is supposed to be like the best eyelash curler in the whole entire world. So we'll give it a try. And I'll tell you what will happen. I will use it diligently probably for a couple weeks. And then I will decide that I don't have time and put it in my drawer with the other five eyelash curlers that I have and never use it again. <laughs> I know how I am. But anyway, I've been wanting to try it. And while it was at a super discount, why not? So anyway, and then um, from the May Love website, I ordered this serum that I've seen people talk about and ads about it and it's the glow maker antioxidant serum so i am um, currently using it i've only used it a few days i can't really tell you anything here or there about it so did order that and then um natasha denona was doing a really good sale on her website and i ordered oops I ordered a whole bunch of the five pin eyeshadow palettes and when I got them in and started looking at them I realized that they were all the same colors that I already have that are in the great big 28 pans and I have 28 pan eyeshadow palettes and I already have both of those so I sent all of those back and I felt really bad about sending them back but I didn't use them or anything like that <clears throat> But I did order some of the um, 
the eye, uh, not eyeshadows, the blushes. And these were, I can't remember if they were 40% off or if they were 50% off, but they were a really good discount. So, and I've been wanting to add some of these to my collection. So I got the color, uh, let's see. Let's see what these say. What do these say? The palette number four. This one's palette number four. The only thing about with these, with the exception of this one, this one does have two different colors in it. And they're really pretty. Um, no complaints about, you know, the Natasha Denona blushes. Um, I haven't used, I have a couple of them that I've used, but um, that one's not very pigmented. But for spring and summer, that one's going to be really pretty. Anyway, let me show you these other two. This next one is in the palette number 12. Let me check on the back here. Yeah. What happens when you buy these, these blush, these blushes, is this color right here, which is like a highlighting color, will be in all of them, pretty much. So basically, you're only getting one new color per palette. Even though there's two colors here, this one's going to be in all of them. And I, I don't know why she did that. Let me put some different stuff in there. So you can see I have number um, two and number... No, wait. I'm getting confused here. Palette number 12 and palette number, was it four? Four, no. Uh. 15. Yeah. Oh. What am I doing? Anyway, so the outer, the lightest color is the same. It's exactly the same. But then the other, the darker color is your blush color. So that's, that's the only unfortunate thing because you think you're getting, you know, for their money, you're getting two different things, two different items, two different colors, which the first time that you buy it, you are. So it is a good deal. But then when you want a different color of blush, you're really only getting one because you already have the other. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. So it kind of lowers the value of it. So that's why when it was you know, that big of a discount, I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and order some, even though I know I'm getting, you know, not that many colors. Instead of six different colors, I only got three different colors. There you go. <laughs> so that is those. So that's what I got from the Natasha Denona website. And then I placed an order on Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus was doing a gift card event where you spent X amount of money, you, you get a gift card. And um, Ebates was doing 14% cash back also. And I have been wanting this perfume for a very long time. And I kind of put off purchasing it because where I live, there's no place where I can go physically and smell it because the only place that has Tom Ford scents is Sephora and the Sephora that we have doesn't have this particular one and then they just recently put in a little small um, Tom Ford like kiosk type thing in the Dillard's at the mall but again they basically just carry the same scents that Sephora carries anyway so I thought, well, with the cash back and with getting the gift card, I'm gonna go ahead and order it. I'm gonna get it, and if I don't like it, then I'll just send it back, even though I hate to do that. But anyway, let's just say I'm not gonna be sending it back. And let me show you the box, and I ordered the smallest bottle because it's so daggum expensive. But anyway, it's a Tom Ford perfume. Oh, and it's the tobacco vanille. Yes. Okay. Now, I know I have the Nirvana, Elizabeth and James Nirvana bourbon that has a little bit of a hint of tobacco in it. But I really, really wanted something that had more 
tobacco in it. And I was debating on this one and the tobacco wood. <sighs> so I ended up going ahead and getting this one with the vanille because I felt like the vanille, tobacco vanille would be a little bit more feminine than the tobacco wood would be. And this is what the bottle looks like. Oh, my stars. I wore it yesterday for the first time. I smelled it myself all day. Loved it. Loved it. Oh, mm. oh, it smells so good. Love it. Now I want the huge bottle of it. Now I want the tobacco wood. But I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to try and hold out. And hopefully one of these days when I go to the um, company the CCO, the company cosmetic outlet, that maybe they'll have this or the, the other one at there at a discount. If not, maybe my next trip to Vegas, I'll go and smell the tobacco wood and see if I like it just as well as this one. They also have this in a beard oil that I'm thinking of getting, not that I have a beard, but just to use it as a body oil to layer. Not that this needs layering, but oh my gosh, it smells good. Oh, it smells so good. I haven't put any perf cologne on perfume. Mm. If you like tobacco, pipe tobacco, sweet pipe tobacco, you will like this. With a hint of vanilla, with a hint of wood woodsiness, you will like this. Um, and I, the reason why I've always been so hesitant to get it is because of the sweetness. I'm not a sweet perfume person. I don't really like things that are sweet. But this I like. I really like this. Mm, oh my stars. Mm -mm -mm. So there you go. I ordered that. And then I ordered from Kiehl's um, this little lip balm trio um, called, me, called Kiss Me with Kiehl's. And the reason why I did that is I am putting a lip balm in all of the kids, um, not the grandkids, but the adult kids stockings. And I needed some more lip balms to complete that. So I got that. And because I purchased those two items, then I got this little freebie here. Um, they were doing some kind of beauty event that you got if you spent X amount in beauty, then you got all of this for free. And there is a ton of stuff in here. I mean, a ton. There's a La Prairie item. I guess this is one of their foundations. Is it a foundation? Yes. Skin Caviar Essence in Foundation. You know that's going to be expensive. Um, La Prairie, something else from La Prairie. Essential Correcting Refiner. Yeah. La Mer. There's all kinds of expensive stuff. What is this? Lust for Lux. La Mar Deluxe. I don't know what that is, but some little um, samples of lipstick and lip gloss. The Guerlain Renew and Repair Serum. That's a pretty good size sample of that. And then there's a perfume. I don't know what this is. Wisdom, what does that say? Wisdom, Whispers of Admiration, House of Sillage. I never heard of that. And there's another perfume or scent, Kylan Boutiques. I've heard of that one either. There's some more of those hum, um, vitamins this is for hair i had some of these that was for um, moisturization that you're supposed to take and i i've ate them they are the sweetest <laughs> vitamins i've ever ever tasted I'm, I'm telling you the sugar content has to be high up there um sample of something from creed and viking oh we watched vikings last night we hadn't watched it in a while so we're picking it back up and really enjoying Vikings. Um, here's a hand and body lotion that's lemon verbena from, oh, I don't know who this is from. Some French something, don't know. Juice Beauty Photo Pigment Illuminating Primer. 
A Mark Jacobs. What is this? Mark Jacobs what? Oh, a lip lip crayon in the color plum. Plum and get it. <laughs> That's funny. Plum and get it. An SA SK2 Essence. Gosh, this stuff is so expensive. This little guy right here is probably like a $30 value right there. Ooh, what is this? A YSL perfume, another perfume from YSL. A mask from Fresh. This is the rose mask. I really do like that mask, so I'm glad to have that. Ah, Diamond Extreme Eye from Nature Basse. Most of, these, most of these brands I've never even heard of. Never heard of. Wow. Rodin Oleo Luso for well-nourished glowing skin. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh. <gasps> Look. Tom Ford Ode Wood. I can smell the old wood. It's not the tobacco wood, but it's the old wood. I can smell that. Oh, I'm so excited. I was wanting to smell that one. Um, dual finish from Lacombe, another foundation sample. Beauty Bio, a moisturizer, another little sample from Clay de Poe. What else? Let's see. Orbe Straight Away Smoothing Blowout Cream. I won't use that. <laughs> what is this? A Youth Serum. Agent Nature. A Youth Serum. Don't know. Don't have a clue. And then there's a whole bunch. Well, no, wait. What is this? Oh, Chanel number no. five. There's a Chanel number no. five perfume in here sample. Oh, this was pretty cool. And then there's um, Jane Aradell hand drink, a hand lotion from Jane Aradell. And then there's a whole bunch of these little packets. I'm not going to go through these because probably most of them I won't be able to pronounce anyway. So what is that? That's kind of thick. What is that? greens what is that <laughs> i'm trying to figure out what this is it's like really thick what is that kale blue green algae spinach wheatgrass but what is it oh it's a supplement it's a vitamin oh it's a vitamin it's like what the heck is that let's open it Oh my God. Do y'all see that? <laughs> That's what I was like. What? Really? That is huge. Am I supposed to chew that? Okay. Let's see. What does it say to do? Am I just supposed to eat it? Oh no. You're supposed to put it in water. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't eat that. You're supposed to Drop it in water and let it dissolve and then drink it. Ugh. Ugh, it stinks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'll be doing that. But anyway. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.